so let's jump right in photos taken under natural lighting conditions come out extremely detailed and sharp producing a really nice and crisp image the exposure and iso are on point and overall i'm super impressed with the pictures for reference just look at the waves it's just so detailed and crisp however not all is good take a look at this picture the camera just totally desaturated this image for some reason In this picture the camera tends to overexpose the highlights and a little bit of noise does creep in. Now let's take a look at some shots taken using the portrait mode. While it perfectly blurs on the background, the background is kind of overexposed if you notice. In this picture it gets even worse. I mean what's just wrong with the camera? I've never seen a phone camera automatically overexpose so much that even there's already ample amount of light. While this picture looks extremely good, the colors to be honest are just so unreal. And finally, there's this photo, where the Mi A1 finally nails it. The background is perfectly blurred, the colors are natural, and there's no overexposing whatsoever. Now, let's move on to some low light photos. The Mi A1 captures a decent photo, which is correctly exposed, but some noise does creep in. In this photo, the f2.2 aperture doesn't do justice to the bokeh in the background. Also, while the photo looks pleasing, when you zoom in, you can notice that the light bulb inside is overexposed. However, this photo came out perfectly with decent exposure and no green. It almost feels as though I shot this on a DSLR. Now let's look at an image shot under artificial lighting. I wasn't happy with the result as there was ample amount of light in the shot and it was already taken with HDR enabled. Taking a look at a selfie, it's pretty good. The 5 megapixel front camera shoots some great selfies with ample amount of detail and perfect exposure. The Mi A1 supports 4K video at 30 frames per second, and while the quality itself is amazing, the lack of any stabilization just completely ruins everything. Colors are accurate and there's not a lot of hunting for focus. To conclude, the Mi A1 has a great dual camera, and while you can't call it flagship level, it still is one of the best camera phones available at the price point of 13,999 Indian rupees. If you wish to pick one up, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box. Either way, that's been it for me. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next video.